On the moon, where the sun's shining, it's blindingly bright. Where it isn't, it's pitch black. The surface is covered in the finest particles of sand. It's a tricky environment for even the most advanced machines to navigate. And before fleets of these things start roaming the real moon, this engineer has many late nights ahead. Perfecting this rover and testing it on an artificial landscape like this one will get us one step closer to establishing the first human settlement away from Earth. Discovery Roger, go for deploy. One day, when you and I make it up to the moon, it could be thanks to her. My name is Akane Imamura, and I built miniature lunar rover. Going to the moon used to be something only the biggest governments dreamed of. But with the growing commercialization of space, some of the most exciting projects now are taking place at startups. And today, I'm back in my hometown to visit one of them. Ah, Bloomberg no Ito desu. Hi, ah, iSpace got its start in 2010 as a group of engineers competing for the $30 million Google Lunar X Prize. The competition expired last year without a winner, but having raised more than $90 million from Japan's government-backed funds and companies including Japan Airlines, iSpace is now focused on becoming a business in its own right. So this is the rover? Yeah, this is the rover. iSpace is a rover. When you think of a space rover, you might think of the moon buggy used in three of the Apollo missions. There's a big crater there, the one thing. Or the Opportunity rover that looked for water on Mars. Next to these two hulking creations from previous decades, iSpace's machine is so small, it looks like a toy. Akane's team is racing against their deadline of 2021, when a SpaceX rocket will blast iSpace's lander, carrying two rovers, into orbit around the moon. After a soft landing, each rover will roll out and roam the lunar landscape, sending images, video, and mapping data back to Earth. Tomorrow, Akane's team will take one big step forward. They're going to be taking these two prototypes to a fake moon. Akane is responsible for the structural elements of the rover. And that involves everything from choosing the best physical materials to make a lightweight but still resilient machine, to the thorny challenge of designing the shape of these wheels. 
この大きさのこの重心のローバーだったらこのくらいのホイールであれば十分だっていうのをまず理論である程度当たりをつけてそれ,をじそれとデータを取って比較するというのをこれからやります。Early the next morning, we made our way to the suburbs outside Tokyo. And once the city's high rises gave way to smaller neighborhoods, we reached our destination. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, known as JAXA. Here on Earth, this is the closest thing to the moon. We have an hour, an hour and a half of real testing this morning, with both Rover A and Rover B、uh, doing their tests in parallel. Make sure that we're logging and backing up all the data. Okay, let's do it. ですこんな感じなんですか。はい。もうちょっとこうふわっと片栗粉をまを混ぜたようなイメージっていうのを聞いたことがあります。And after a few final preparations, they started the tests. お願いします。With every run, Akane's team reconfigured the rover to have a different weight distribution. The plan was to see which versions would be able to run straight、ah, okay、this. and measure how much the rogue ones would veer off path. Stop. And then it was the hardest part of the day. The lunar hill climbs. And with the chance to play a very tiny role in establishing humanity's presence on the moon, I couldn't resist. Aki san ni utte moraitai no wa, eh, to, masugu goku komando o utte moraitai nes. Ja, jotto yatte mite kudasai. ローバー頑張ってますね。頑張ってます。今。かなり坂道がすごく滑りやすくて、あの、わだちを見るとわかるんですけど、空回りしてるのがよく。はい、ストップ。できました。<笑> Dear future lunar residents and lunar tourists, you're welcome. Moi, Chichan. O sara mo te kite chodai. Ite ra shai. Kyo tsukete ne. Bye bye. For about two days a week, Akane works from home. And 
And it's this flexibility that's helped her balance a job as daunting as building a space rover with another equally demanding responsibility. But in a country that has one of the developed world's worst records on gender inequality, Akane's success is still rare, and even for her, a pretty recent development. Akane has a master's in mechanical engineering, and her first job out of school involved research on concrete and later on metals at a big, prestigious Japanese manufacturer. She was one of very few female engineers in an R&D department dominated by men. Several times, Akane considered quitting work altogether and becoming a full-time housewife while her husband pursued his career. In 2017, Akane joined iSpace as a spacecraft structure engineer. The hectic nature of life at a startup has come with its own challenges. But in a company that's attracted young people from countries like France, the US, and Canada, she says she's a lot happier now. ゆきちゃんが大人になる頃には就職する頃には日本もだいぶ変わってるといいですね。あ、そうですね。あの、本当私と同じような悩みを持ってもらいたくないですね。娘には。で、それで好きなことが本当に精一杯できればそれは親として